up. Youngest in the family, raise your hands. <gasps> Look at the baby. I'm 30. Being the youngest in the family comes with its pros and cons. The pros, you get a lot of attention, you get pampered, and people are pretty easy on you. Usually after having a couple kids, the parents are tired, so they put less restrictions on you. Like getting a cell phone at 10, but your siblings had to wait till 15. The cons. I have two sisters in my family. One of them is older than me, and so is the other one. We've had some good times, and we've had some bad times. But through it all, I love them like they're my own two sisters. Wait, this is Becca. She's the second oldest sibling, and she likes makeup, and she's really, really good at art. This is Krista. She's the oldest sibling. She likes murder mystery podcasts, and she's really, really good at knowing about murder. Hey, where did she go? Where did... Hey! And then there's me. I like to draw. Make good pancakes. You make really good pancakes. Should I put that in? Yeah. And I make really good pancakes. Becca and I got along pretty well when I was younger. It wasn't impossible for us to butt heads every once in a while, but we were cool most of the time because of our mutual appreciation of art and Pokemon. We became art buddies pretty early on because she drew a lot and I thought that was cool and I wanted to draw too. That's part of how I got into comics. I started doodling on my own instead of with Becca, then drawing and reading comics, and eventually making ice cream sandwich comics. And now, this. You, watching me, talk to you, watching you. Oh, Chris and I have a good relationship now, but back in the day, the rivalry was strong. The rivalry, the rivalry. It's like rural rival. She would pull pranks on me, is what I'm trying to say. For example. Do ants poop? Hey Andy, come here. I bet you can't fit into this box with the top closed. I can do that. Hmm, doubt it. Okay, check this out. See? Like a glove. Bet you feel stupid now, huh? Krista. Krista? Krista? She let me out before I died, which was nice and surprising. I'm not sure why she did it, but I am sure that it spawned a powerful claustrophobia inside me. Not everything my sisters did hurt me. Uh, sometimes it hurt me but with a benefit. For example, when I was a little baby, before I could even speak, my sisters and I would have breakfast together and watch Saturday morning cartoons on the telly. Usually breakfast was just cereal, and it was the rule that you just had to finish your milk after you ate your cereal. For some reason, as kids, we didn't like to do that. Good job finishing your cereal. Now don't forget to drink your milk as well. Yeah, okay, okay. Good job, girls. Andy, finish your milk. How could this happen to me? I made a mistake. And because I couldn't say anything, I couldn't defend myself. But joke's on them because it taught me to always drink my milk after my cereal. And now, I'm tall. Drink your milk. Sometimes, Krista would prank both Becca and I, because you know, that's kind of the role of the oldest. She calls us into this side room and shows us this very large bottle of vodka and tells us she found it in mom's and dad's secret stash, uh, which they didn't have, but we were young and we believed anything. She said that she was gonna drink it, and even though Becca and I didn't know anything about alcohol, except that you got it for free in church with a little bread, but outside of religion, it was strictly for adults, and drinking it was absolutely off limits. Do you dare me to do it? Krista? Krista, don't do it. If you do it... Oh my god! I emptied it out. It was just water. Okay, at this point I should just expect it. That one's on me, guys. I think the moral of the story is that Krista was really good at pranking us. Like, if she committed a crime, she'd probably be able to get away with it. Thievery. Murder. All in all, we had our spats, but everyone goes through that. My siblings and I grew out of it pretty easily, I'd say. In conclusion, I love my sisters. Both Becca and Krista. Krista? Krista? Krista!
Thanks for watching this video. Come join us on Twitter, where we have a good time hanging out. Twitter.com. It's there. I intend to keep my promise I made at the end of the last video. So... Let's see here. Recent subscribers in the last 28 days. Doc Crush. Da Crush? Doc Crush? Da Crush? You pick someone else. No, I'm doing this one. <laughs> they won. And they get the prize. Congratulations. <laughs>